Big plays in the red zone helped define Willingboro's West Jersey Football League meeting with Cinnamons in high school on Friday night. An interception by Caleb McRae and a fourth down sack by Isaiah Cook enabled the Chimeras to deny the Pirates twice in close, but Cinnamons finally took the lead with a four-yard scoring pass from Sean Ruffin to John Meekins with six seconds left in the first half. The two hooked up again on a post pattern in the third quarter that covered 51 yards and gave the Pirates a 12-0 lead. At the time, it looked like insurance, but it didn't cover what happened next. Willingboro took control on the offensive line and marched 58 yards on 13 plays to its first touchdown. We're resilient. Um, we're coming into our own, and we got to. We're starting to play tough. You know, um, being able to run the ball when we need to alleviates a lot of pressure from us. And, and we got three really good running backs, and, and you know, and, 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 and number five is just pretty special. Those running backs got the Chimeras close enough for a Sean Davis's one-yard sneak. As for number five, Nasir Murray, Davis found him twice on the winning drive. The O-line, they, they did what they had to do. Shout out to them. And I just put it on Nasir Murray's chest. Murray's first catch got them close. His second one got them in with 146 left in the game. When we was in the huddle, it, it was a different play. And I, um, I, gave, him, I gave him the checks in before the slant, and we got, it, we got it done. I saw that the safety was cheating over to the trip side, and I knew I had my, my best wide receiver one-on-one, -on -one, and I'll just do the slant. The battle wasn't over, though. At that point, neither team had made an extra point. Uh, they was going to put Zaire in at first, but then they sent me. So then I had butterflies. So then it was supposed to be an option. So then he just gave it to me. Number, t number one was on the outside, and I was about to go in, and then I went outside and it came back in, and I just put my, lowered my shoulder, got in, felt like a dream, really. The dream nearly soured when Ruffin found Elijah Bryant for 43 yards a few plays later, but Shalid Williams made a pick to seal Willingboro's 14-12 win. They won the battle up front in the second half, we won the battle in the first half, and they just made an extra play. I mean, at the end, I thought Elijah broke it. I thought he was gone. Athleticism caught up. No, it, it hurts, but in the grand scheme of things, with the born power index and all this great stuff, we're still in really good shape. I mean, it was a heck of a ball game. It really was. From Morristown High School, this is John Lewis.